Oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen. This is just Jen's things. These are the things that make me smile. We are back in my loft today, and guys, it has probably been almost five days since I filmed, and life has been pretty busy. I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween. Uh, our girls went out with some of their friends. They each have different friend groups, but they went out with their friends, and me, Mama, and Rob passed out candy at home, and it was okay. It was all right. I miss my kids being little. Let me know down in the comments below if your children are little and what you guys may have done for Halloween as well. I would love to know. Uh, we used to do like family group costumes, but and I miss those days too, guys. But in today's video, I am finally, finally filming my October empty. Can you do me a favor, hit subscribe down below. It's free to you. It helps us out so, so much. We are so close to 1,000 members. And once we get to 1,000 members, we are giving away a $50 gift card to my favorite brand, Bath & Body Works. And I would love to get to know you a little bit more. Hey guys, so as you heard today, I am finally filming my October empties. This is Bath and Body Works and hygiene. And guys, let's jump right on in. So real fast, the first thing that was on top, we have gone through the Dove 11 pack of bars. No, wait, this is 16 bars. We've gone through that. Let's see, a Colgate total. Move these. A lot of these, like I said, guys, it's just Bath and Body Works and hygiene. Um, I finally finished this. This is the Jergens Weightless Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is, I would say, the second time I have ever tried this. And I will say, after trying two bottles of this, the first bottle I think I tried when it very, very, very first launched years ago. And now I've tried this one. This one is the coconut oil one with hyaluronic acid. I can understand why so many people in the Bath and Body Works community say, just finish up your lotion in the shower and it is basically the same thing as this. It really is. So I'm not gonna purchase this again. If you're interested in purchasing this, I will say it's really good. It dries super fast, at least for me, um, once you're out of the shower and everything. So you just do your normal shower, turn off the water, use this lotion, get out, towel dry off, all that stuff. But anyway, guys, I will say this is really good in the summer months, so. That's my take on that. We went through this so fast. This just came out, you guys, and um, my girls loved it that much. This is the Dove Pecan Butter Crunch. This scent was so fantastic. I wish that I had found body wash in this, but all I found was the scrub at my store when this released, and my kids have already used it up. It was top-notch, probably the best product of fall, in my opinion. I love the Dove Holiday line, and I love their body scrubs. So, went through that. I finished my bottle of the Vitafusion Women's Multi. This we get at Sam's Club. My kids love these too, and well, they're not kids, they're teens, but we finished that. We finished off Dove um, Relaxing. This is the lavender oil and chamomile for the body wash for mom because she loves anything that's lavender. Another Dove Restoring. This is just the coconut and cocoa butter. Finished that. Another tube of Crest with Scope. Let's see. Okay, um, where am I at? a Pantene Repair and Protect because we go through so much Pantene. A Pantene and Protect, this one is the conditioner, that was the shampoo. Um, the two blade razors from Equate are great when you become middle-aged, you got a little chin hair. 
Yep, I said it guys, I admitted it. Anyway, moving on, let me see. Our first Bath and Body Works product. Um, we finished off Ghoul Friend, Rob loves this one. The hand soap, really good. We would definitely repurchase that. We did finish off the Candy Apple Cauldron hand soap. I liked this in the hand soap only. I did not like this in other forms. So the hand soap was the only one I purchased and the only one that we finished, but pretty good. You guys know how I feel about those. We finished off the Champagne Apple and Honey, the conditioner. We are almost done with the shampoo. Finished off the bottle of Ghoul Friend. So that one's done. Head and shoulders. This is the two-in-one coconut. Finished that. What else, what else, what else? A Nexus Color Assure. This one is the shampoo because my youngest daughter dyes her hair constantly. Finished off a bottle of strawberry soda body wash. Really good, loved this scent. Okay, this is from Above Love Co. And our youngest finished off the Biddy Committee Love to Fight. She loves single wick candles. This burned pretty fast. And this one actually burned relatively clean for the ones that we have gone through. There is a lot of like glitter on the sides that you can see. A pretty good scent. So liked that one. We'll just put this right here. We finished off Fireside. This had notes of smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. I'm not really like a smoky candle type of person, so I would not repurchase this one. So, but I'm getting through all of my candles, guys. Another one that we finished off was Sugared Snickerdoodle. This is an older packaging of one. And this is warm spice, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. Really good. I really liked this one. I finished off a mist. I'm so excited about this one. This is from the wellness line, and this one is musk. This is the perfume mist. It's the pink one. This is so good, and I guess we went through this so fast because I only keep the wellness line in my bathroom now. The rest of my collection is right here, as you guys can see. So right out of the shower, this is top notch. We loved it. We'll definitely repurchase, and I'm glad I already have a backup. So that one. Now, this candle is in my empties, but my plan, I guess, was to probably empty this and then keep it for decor for next year. It has the skull um, lid, which is really cool. And this is a vampire blood, red berries, night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum. So I'm gonna try to empty this out. And then my store actually does something where they put twinkle lights in these. And I don't know, I'm kind of debating about doing that maybe next year, but I'm gonna actually keep that even though it is empty. We went through a 16 pack of the Bix Away Color Smooth Razors. I don't know guys. We went through this super fast as well. This was from last year. This is the Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie, the Dove Holiday Treats Body Wash. Went through that so fast. you guys went through the Paul Mitchell Color Protect Shampoo for our youngest. We got more candles coming up, but this was so good. We all loved this one. It was the Almond and Shea, Shea Sugar Scrub. This is like the Equate Sugar Scrub brand that is similar to um, Tree Hut. My girls love this brand. So went through that really fast. We went through this one. This is the Bath & Body Works Champagne Apple and Honey in the Moisturizing Body Wash. Fantastic, we'll definitely repurchase. All right, guys, you guys know I am powering through these. I don't like them, I don't recommend them, but when you already have hand soap, you just gotta get through it. This is the Spice Pumpkin Pie from 
Aroma Home by Slacken and Co. It is thin, it is watery, it's gel. I just, I don't like it. it. It doesn't make me feel like my hands are clean. We did get through a crisp morning air hand soap, which is the foaming one from Bath and Body Works. Loved, will repurchase. We went through the pumpkin apple foaming hand soap. Loved that as well. We finally finished off the pumpkin spice latte and twisted peppermint. I loved this candle. Get back, I would purchase it in a heartbeat. I'm weird. I really like the pumpkin and I like the twisted peppermint, but twisted peppermint is one of my favorite candles. So guys, we finished that and I'm sad now. What else did we get through? Pumpkin s'mores. So good. This has more chocolate in it than anything else. The notes on pumpkin s'mores, this is from this year, is roasted marshmallow, melted chocolate, and pumpkin graham cracker. It just mostly smells like chocolate, but I like chocolate candles and this was delicious. This was the single wick of champagne, apple, and honey. My youngest daughter loves single wicks, as you guys know. She finished this so fast. So she's happy with that. We're getting close to the bottom, you guys. Okay, this is fresh fall morning. It is a single wick from, I think it was last year. This is an absolute disaster and mess, but it is my fault because I was using this under the warmer and it just got gross. I tried to go ahead and empty out wax. That didn't work really, so we're calling it a dud. It is done, guys. Dipped coconut milkshake in the body wash from Bath and Body Works. Charlie, my oldest, loves anything that's like vanilla, coconut. Anything that's like a gourmand. Gourmand. I can't talk. So she loves that one. And guys, the bottom of the barrel here. Let me just get all these. We have four different, different Dove bars. We went through like eight Dove bars, I guess, this month, it seems like. And then we also finished off a Wild Madagascar Vanilla Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. I'm glad I have backups. It's one of my favorite scents. Rob finished off an Old Spice Trailblazer. And then we also have a Heritage Lazy Day Dry Shampoo. Finished that. Finished a Brut Signature deodorant, Rob did. What else do we have in here? A Cocoa Butter and Shea from Suave, pretty good, like I said. My oldest loves anything that's like gourmand. Vanilla, gourmand, she loves it. What else is in here? We finished off the bottle of Twilight Woods. I need more of that. And, Oh, a wallflower. Do I know which one it is? No. Was it damaged? Yes. A pump that went to probably a shampoo bottle? Yes. And guys, that's it. That is my empties. We went through so much this month and you know what? I'm glad because it seems like we have had months where we have barely gotten through anything at all. So having a month where I actually used up a mist, tons of um, like Bath and Body Works candles and Bath and Body Works body wash, I'm okay with that. I really need to finish off some body creams or some lotions. So that is my goal continuing through November. But guys, that's all that I have for you comment down below. I would love to know on average, how many body washes do you or your family go through in a month? Please tell me and I will catch you guys in my next empties. Bye friends.